So we get to camp, and they're like, all right. So I'm starting to play. I kept asking. And it's like, give me the Denver tape, give me the Denver tape, because it was my last game. So all I was thinking was, if I died or if I couldn't play, every time I go do something for sickle cell, every time I do something, they was going to show last play of the game, right? Last play of the game, we lost to Jay Cutler, how, how that happens. He's kneeling, and I just walk off, right? And so my thought was, that was going to be everybody's lasting impression of me if I couldn't play, right? Or if I died. But, like, that's the reality for all of us. You see what I'm saying? Like, it could have been my last play because I passed, right? Or because my body wasn't able to do it. But that's every single play, right? Because that's the game we play, right? So for me, when we won the Super Bowl that year, they took a picture of me. I was like laying in the confetti. So, you know, they run over. They wanted like something like super inspirational. You know, how does it feel? Whatever. And I told them, I was like, this felt like every single play of the season, right? Because every single play, I was like, shoot, if this my last one, and it's the one they got to watch. I want it to look a certain way. And like, that's real life, right? That's real life in practice, everything. And so for me, from there, I was like, every time I go, I'm going to go line. I might miss a tackle. Like, you might beat me because you're better than me. But it ain't going to be because you wanted, you wanted that play more than I want. Right? And like, that's how we got to look at it, man. And it's, it's, it is personal. You know what I'm saying? Like, people talk about it like it's a business. This junk ain't no business. Right? Because if you're trying to run me over, you don't want Jordan to eat, right? Like, you don't want me to be able to pay for Jaden to go to school. Like, that's how, like, that's how I saw it. And, you know, before the game, like, we was all cool. They come over to sign the peace treaty. Oh, RC, man, let's be cool today. All right, man, blessings. You know what I'm saying? And I want the best for you when we leave off of here. But y'all got to eat every time, man. All the work's done, man. Like... Make sure though, every time you get to play, bro, it matters. Let's go, family on three, fellas. One, two, three, family. family. Explosiveness I saw running with Mo. Do it here. Do it here. Right, that's what makes you special. Push, get it. Go, 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 go. Here. You're waiting, yeah, Landon. You're waiting. Stop cheating it. Stop cheating it. Come on. Here. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Run. My life for the past three, four years. Been training with him since then. Honestly, he stays on my tail about each and everything. Even the food that I eat, you know. So he calls me fat, calls push me it. chubby, go. and that's just a mindset of Here. making me push nice. myself and push myself and have a goal to to make myself better as a player, as a person. And then I know it's just brotherly love because we, we, we take this as brotherly Let's love. Go. We take this as a brother from another mother right, because boy. if he wasn't saying Good. those things, I'd Good. probably be doing something that's not helping me and declining my game, you know? And a guy like that, you want on your side. We don't need to square back up, you all right? We don't need to square up. If I'm here, all I need to do is decelerate, plant this foot, and I'm back down. We don't have to square back up. Let's go again. Let's go again. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Let's go. Shuffle it. Get here. Here, here. Come on. There you go. Finish it. Good. Easy movements. Easy movements. Oh, man, Ryan, man, that's, that's kind of like a, a big bro slash onk slash everything. You know, he's kind of like everything wrapped up in one, man. Um, Master Splinter is what I like to call him because, he, you know, he, he's played 13 years in the league. You know, he, he's been in every position that you can think of being in a, in a game or in, in just in life, you know. So, um. He, he gives us knowledge about everything. It's not just about football with him, you know. He actually cares about your well-being. And so, man, we, just being with Ryan Clark, you learn a lot of things. It's just, I mean, he teach, he's a teacher and a trainer, so, like, it's good. I love training with him. One push of the, it, the push main it, push it, push it, push it. Now come. with me That's is just it, the decel and easy. The excel and explosion, explosion out the break. So, just he really breaks down come each on. break and his Here. drills. He, he does a good, good job tray, of teaching good him. And it's just, it's just the little things like that that he does. That he does uh, perfect the drills. Right, so if I'm catching it, uh -huh. right, if he comes, like say he stems in, I stay in, he straightens up, I want to catch it while I'm moving. Though. Right. Right? So many times we think a catch as something as if a guy's coming, yeah. I let him pass me, it. and then I try to absorb it and run, yeah. or I try to hit him and run. Yeah. Right? But if I miss here, I'm always stressed out. Yeah. So if he's here, right, if I stay at five, he's coming, he's coming, I start, he comes up, I start moving, and I get a shot on him. It's yeah. different. Right? And now, if I want to, I'll slip up field. Uh -huh. Right, say he gets to five, right? We get to five and I'm here. Uh -huh. Now, when we're at 10, now I'm in this position. Mm -hmm. 
You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So don't put yourself, like, don't automatically put yourself in bad position. Slip as you get upfield. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. here, say we get a, a option route. He comes up, we get an option route, boom, here, I'm right on him, mm -hmm. right? Because that's five yards. Mm -hmm. I, I, I could catch anything there. If he runs past me. Where are you lining though? Are you lining at five? Or no, I would, I would start back, right? I would, I would never, if I'm gonna catch it or if I'm gonna play it, I would always start moving, right? So I'm here, I'm watching, I'm watching the snap. I'm, I'm faking, say I'm, I'm acting like I'm coming, right? Or I'm playing like I'm playing the hook, and then I get into it. Because what happens is, if I'm lined in the leverage, if I'm lined in this leverage right here, yeah. right? Or I'm lined in this leverage. If I'm the tight end, I go, okay, here is how I'm attacking. Mm -hmm. Or start outside, mm -hmm. right? Start outside, as he takes off, then I shuffle in here, yeah. right? Because it keeps my feet moving, mm -hmm. right? Also, it keeps him like, okay, where am I setting him up at? How is he coming? Mm -hmm. If you line right here, and I've watched all the film, and every time you line right here, you're in the catch technique, I can beat you. Right. The lesser athlete can when, win. When are you going to pedal? Only against slots? Are you ever going to... I'd pedal against a tight end, but slow, right? Because mm -hmm. even, so, in Washington, Raheem Morris played it like this. We always started inside, and we slipped as we got upfield. Yeah. So we started here, right, because he wanted to be able to take crossers, quick ends, yeah. and we, we pedal out here and flip underneath this way, right? Because mm. we always had a body in there. Yeah. We never had a body outside, right? right? So now, if he, goes, if he runs the out, mm -hmm. if, he, if, I, if I slipped here and he runs the out, now I'm right here and I can play it. Right. Right. The stress comes in here, mm -hmm. but I'm okay with being stressed because even if he's a run stopper, if he gets a little depth and watching the quarterback, he could turn and give me body position. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't have it out here. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how I played it inside. And now the other thing is this too, Jay Reed. If he wants you to catch it, you can catch it like this. Right. Come. If I catch it here inside and just know if he goes out, I slip this way. Yeah. You see yeah, what I mean? That's and, that, and that's a smooth move too. Mm -hmm. Right. Because he's going to think. He's thinking, oh, because you know, as you get a field, you know you got a middle field guy. Right. Yeah, the only right. route, the only route that really is just the high. Absolutely. The high right. Window. Absolutely. So, so play. right, like, so you're here, you're here, and if he does anything out here, boom, I just slip to the outside. Yeah. Right. The more I get up field, the more I want to get in the pocket, though. So, like, if I slip here, mm -hmm. right? If I slip here, I don't want to let that room keep extended. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. So as he runs. The more he gets upfield, the more now it becomes a threat. Because the more now it becomes a threat of a vertical route. Right. Because what happens is a lot of times when we slip underneath, we start because we're expecting oh, a break. Yeah. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then if he just keeps running, separates here, quarterbacks are good enough if I'm in here mm -hmm. to get me right here. So how are you playing slots the same way though as far as the catch? Do you play them equally? I wouldn't catch it, no. So On a slot, I'd slot? play at seven. You play at seven. Right? You and at seven though, I know I can be slow. I don't have to pedal. I'll be here, right? I'm always trying to be in my base, yep. And so now I'm here. That's my movement to start out in, in the slot, right? Here, here. Because what I'm thinking is I, can, I got this upfield foot to plan on anything out here. Yeah. And if it crosses my face early, I go here. If it gets upfield on me, I'm now right in that hip pocket. Right. So it's just patient, right? So it's just, so it's just here. Patient, patient, patient to run. Right, that should be it. So one. Patient, patient to run. You feel me? RC has been a phenomenal mentor, and not only just a mentor, but a big brother to me throughout the entire process of me being with DB Precision, both in Louisiana and here in Arizona. Uh, we talk about ball all the time. He works on my technique. He teaches me how to get out of my brakes faster, how to drop my weight, how to make sure I have all of my cleats in the ground. Uh, we watched tape on my games last year, and he'll give me in-depth explanations of how I could be better in certain coverages where my eyes could be so that way I can play a second faster and what's the difference between those six inches in between making a play and not making a play.